Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about why you should not buy Lightroom presets and why you should make your own. If you've been paying attention to the online photography community for the past four years, you would probably know what the word preset is. But for the few of you who don't know what it is, it's pretty much like purchasing someone's photography style, their colors, their edits, their tones, and then slapping it onto your photo in an effort to make your photo process workflow a lot more efficient or to emulate your favorite photographer's style. It's an incredibly large market and what most people don't really realize is that most of those presets are junk because they won't work for all the photos that me or you will create. Say for example, you've been following a photographer for years and you really love their style and you wanna buy their presets. What if they shoot on a Canon camera? Usually their presets are gonna be tailored towards the Canon color science and it won't apply to a Sony camera, a Fujifilm camera, or let alone an iPhone photo. I'm going to show you a quick example of what it looks like to slap on a DSLR type preset onto an iPhone photo and you will quickly realize that it will not work out. It is definitely better to make your own preset and you might be intimidated by the process of making a preset but I will show you in two simple steps and it's going to be quite easy. All right so I have this photo pulled up on my Lightroom mobile right now and I'm going to edit it quickly make a preset so that you can follow along and make your own preset for several other photos in your library as well. So let's start with the light. Uh, I feel like the exposure is actually pretty good, but I'm going to add more contrast because I love that stuff. Highlights, more. Shadows I think is fine. I want to retain some shadow detail. Maybe darken a little bit. Let's go to the curves. I always do this. Three extra anchor points, so there's five total. Let's bring this bad boy down. There we go. Look at that dramatic. Look at that dramatic effect. Bring that down, bring that down. Mm-hmm, right there. And we'll do a little bit of a fade right there. That's cool. Let's do a little before and after. Hold down the screen. Oh, yeah. Look how dramatic that is. Uh, color. I feel like I don't need to tamper with the color at all. Just make it a little bit cooler. Just for, Oh, no, that's too cool. Yeah, negative three is fine. The way we make a preset is pretty simple. So on the top right part of the screen, you see these three dots. Click on that and you can either do copy settings or create preset. If this preset or setting that you made is very specific to the day that you photograph, like for example, like these three photos are from an airport, you can just copy your settings and paste it on these three photos because the lighting is very similar. But if you want to always have this type of look for all of your photos for the sake of consistency, go ahead and create preset right here. And then you see it's going to copy your profile, the light, the color, the effects, the detail. I'm going to title this clean one as the name of my preset. I'm going to check that and then I'm going to swipe on over and then click on the presets tab on the icons below. Go to the yours tab, go to user presets. I've already made some of my presets, but we're gonna go to clean one, apply it, and look how nice that looks. We're gonna click the check mark right here and we're going to fidget around just a little bit. I'll bring the highlights down just a smidge. I really like how contrasty and cold this looks. So that works for me. Let's go to the next photo over here. Let's go back to presets, apply clean one one more time. Okay, so that looks pretty good, but I'm going to modify just a tad. So the thing about presets is that you shouldn't always expect them to look 100% good all the time because you're probably going to be doing at least a little bit of tweaking. So right here, I'm going to add temperature back. And that's good enough for me. That's super clean. It's just like that. Another thing that you can do is if you don't want to make a preset, click on the top three circles right here. Click copy settings right here and then all the stuff that you want to copy i'm not going to copy optics check that's good and then we're going to go over to this self portrait and then we're going to go to the top three dots we're going to click paste settings so this looks a little bit too oversaturated so we're going to go to light contrast back down and that looks pretty good to me so that's the same thing as making a preset but you're not really saving the setting so that is how you make a Lightroom mobile preset. 